Mr. Speaker, I must share some good news with the House. I am particularly proud of the dramatic intervention government has made to tackle the long-lasting and utterly disgraceful problem of dilapidated and inadequate number of courts in our country. Many of the courts have not been fit for purpose and do not provide suitable facilities for the efficient administration of justice. The inadequacy means that people have to travel long distances to gain access to courts. As someone who for years earned my living as a practicing lawyer, I have first-hand experience of the unacceptable state of courthouses around the country, and I'm glad to inform the House that we are resolving this problem. Through the Ministry of Local Government and the District Assembly Common Fund, government has embarked on the construction of 120 courthouses with accompanying accommodation for judges across the country. Indeed, 60 have been completed and the others are at various stages of completion. For the first time ever, we have the happy situation of purpose-built courthouses with accommodation that are waiting for judges to be appointed put to put them to use. Six new regional high courts fitted with judges' residence are, so, are also being constructed in the new regions, i.e. Ahafo, Bono East, Northeast, Oti, Savannah, and Western North. Three of the courts, that is those in Northeast, Oti, and Savannah, have been completed and commissioned. Those in Ahafo, Bono East, and Western North regions will be completed by April. This week I had the present duty on 17th October 2022 to commission a new modern court of appeal complex in Kumasi, together with 20 townhouses and a guest house to serve as permanent residences for Court of Appeal judges based in Kumase, who are mandated to handle appeals from the northern part of the country. The Asante Hine, or two four said to the second, who generously gave the land, was present at the ceremony. It is a truly magnificent sight, and I recommend it to honorable members who go to Kumase to pay a visit and see it for themselves. In addition, 210 vehicles were well, earlier in 2022 distributed to all judges in the Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, Higher Court, and Lower Courts. 